Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Crawler Hauler Episode 3. We're going to be getting all the Luan on the outside of the camper this week, getting the window frames in place, and getting the holes cut for the windows. As I was editing the videos this week, I found that it's really pretty boring. All I'm doing is cutting kerfing. Uh, if you don't know what kerfing is, it's just I'm cutting a little over halfway through the board just to give it a little more flexibility. So I, I put about 15 or so kerfs for each piece uh, and then glue it and brad nail it to the frame. And it's all just repetitive. I do it over and over and over. So the distance from the edge of my blade to the edge of my base blade is an inch and three eighths. It's a really good step over for my kerfing. It allows me to line up my straight edge with the previous cut. It gives me that same inch and three eighths step every time. Works out great. It gives me a nice uh, step to get a good bend in the plywood. Here you can see I'm applying wood glue to the frame. I want to make sure I glue and brad nail every connection just to make this good and strong. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because again, this is pretty boring. So now that everything's glued, it's time to set the outer piece of Luan in place. Again, this has already been kerfed, so I can line it up with this, the center of this stud, put a few brad nails in place, and get this wrapped around. This is going to give the, the frame a lot more strength. You can see in this little clip here, you can still see the strings in place to hold it square, but this board is what's really critical to make sure everything's square before I go any further. So just measuring out where we're going to place the kerfing on this next sheet. We're going to put a full 4 by 8 sheet up there. So the kerfing will start about 20 inches up based on that measurement. And then about 20 inches of kerfing to get around the radius. So the 4 by 8 sheet didn't work. I found out that you have to kerf in a certain direction with the grain. And, and going sideways, cutting my kerfs the full 8 feet it just didn't work. It cracked, wasted a whole board. So you can see here I'm cutting the kerfs on a half a sheet. So 4 feet wide. So the curved direction is going the right way. So this sheet also cracked when I installed it. It just didn't bend around the radius like, like other sheets had. So I ended up having to scrap this piece and start another one. This piece feels much better. The last piece, which unfortunately I didn't get on video, I broke when I was putting it up. It just it was too stiff. Apparently every piece of uh, Luan's a little bit different. This one feels like it should bend fine. Here we go again, more gluing, more of the same. I had a little help with this sheet. There's usually somebody else in the shop doing something, so it's nice to have a hand every once in a while. I 
I guess what I haven't explained here is you can't really tell from the videos, but this this piece that I put on extends down below the joint to the floor. So that's brad nailed to the sides of the floor, not just to the studs. That helps tie the walls to the floor just a little bit more. So here my oldest son Alex stopped in the shop and he was helping me move my guides. Curfing was so much faster with an extra set of hands. I didn't have to run around the table every time to move the guide. All right, here we're gonna do a little walk around just to show the curves. I'm really pleased with with how everything's coming out. The the shape is is really nice, really smooth. So much better than a squared off camper. It's gonna be more aerodynamic, but it, again, the style is it's what really catches me. I don't mind a little more work. This stuff is fun. I like the challenge, and and I couldn't be happier with with how this is coming. I appreciate you guys hanging in till the end here. Uh, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Appreciate all the support. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up episode three of our crawler hauler build. Uh, I didn't get as far as I wanted this week. I know I said I was going to get all the skinning done, get the windows in. Uh, I just didn't get there. This this took a lot longer than I expected. The kerfing took a long time. Uh, just getting everything up took a while. Broke a couple of sheets. All these things added up, and it just uh, needed to get this video out. So calling it quits. Only thing left for the uh, skinning are, of course, these corners. They're going to be a challenge. Uh, I think I have a pretty good handle on it. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Also need a little more material to finish the roof. The piece I have up there now is, is one of the cracked pieces, so it's no good. So I want to put a good solid piece up on the roof, so we'll get to that uh, once I get some more material. Thanks for watching.